Hello! This is going to be a video demonstration on SuperCollider Logic and Jackpilot. So basically on how to record straight into Logic from SuperCollider via Jackpilot, which is an alternative for Soundflower. Okay, maybe my voice is going to vanish uh, somehow, sometime. Uh, because I'm fiddling around with the devices which handle the audio so if that happens I will record uh, that the audio part of the tutorial later so let's get on with it most important thing is to make sure that the sample rate is going to be the same everywhere so that means in SuperCollider, in Logic, in Jackpilot okay for that we can use uh, the audio MIDI setup, which can be found in applications, utilities, and that. Okay, so first we run Jackpilot, Jackpilot Logic Pro Super Collider. Okay, in Jackpilot, we go to the preferences and make sure these are selected built in audio output and then sample rate is 44100 this can stay for the virtual uh, inputs and outputs we keep two and two that's gonna be enough for this video demonstration right then we start jet pilot okay we check the frequency the frequency rate I mean the sample rate uh, it seems to be fine this is okay then in sound in the system preferences we make sure that jack router is selected for the output as well as the input wonderful we can quit this well actually let's keep this one then we run super collider and in super collider we will make some sounds i mean we will make some noise at the moment we won't be able to hear them because they uh, are routed to uh, jack and uh, jack doesn't want to sound yet in super collider use your code have your uh, zero and one for the buses as your outputs so basically don't change too much on it but you will have to choose jack router as your device then by clicking on by evaluating this line you can see what we've got you choose jack router and uh, implement it implement it in your code then make sure your sample rate is 44100 let's find out whether this works it does hooray okay 44100 and Jack router is selected. Wonderful. So let's just make some sound or let's just find out whether we actually can make some sound. Da -da -dun. It's a random algorithm, but it works. We can see in the spectrum in the spectrum that there is some sound. Okay, okay. Now we will run Logic Pro or Logic Studio or whatever they call them nowadays now in logic we will have to do more or less the same which is we have to select the jack as the device which handles the audio the audio my accent doesn't really want to improve come on computer it's quite hot here and the fans are on I mean in the computer uh, but it still doesn't seem to be working faster than usual <laughs> anyway um, we will have to either open a new project or use the one which we set up which I did then we've got an audio track in the audio track we select input one and two for uh, the input now what I've forgotten is to make sure whether jack router uh, jack pilot is selected 
for our audio device it is if it is not then please select it and apply the changes okay then you click on R which is going to open the input and uh, wait then we have to go back to check router check pilot and click on routing now we can see we've got system system let's not fiddle around with them for a while and then sc sc synth and logic pro now the stuff that comes out here shouldn't go into playback one or two because that means we won't be able to record it in logic but it should go instead in logic one and the other one i mean the right one should go in two and now we actually can see it in logic cool and then what actually happens is i think automatically but to make sure that we're doing it right is that logic out one should go into playback one and out two should go into playback two and then what we were planning to do at the beginning we can start recording sweet okay if there is anything I've forgotten, I will type it uh, in the, what is it called, description or additional information. So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Let's quit.